What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, we'll be talking about Jason Strobridge. Um, defensive lineman, I'll say, for Miami. The reason why I'm saying that is because I think he can play a couple different positions. Um, in college, at North Carolina, he mostly played defensive end. Um, and if you do want to play him at defensive end, uh, put him on the left side because he's a better run defender than he is a pass rusher. So, there, th that just is what it is there. Um... But the Miami Dolphins drafted him and in the beginning of the fifth round. And he's honestly one of my favorite picks of this class. He's not necessarily one of the best players because that's Tua. And I actually like Noah Igbenogany as well. Even though I didn't like the pick, I do like the player. But as far as value goes, Jason Strobridge is probably my favorite pick. Um, so, yeah. Um, like I said, if you... If, you do want to play him at defensive end. Definitely put him on that left side because run defense is definitely going to be his strongest suit. But I don't think that's necessarily his best game plan. I think putting him in at three tech would be better. Um, in college, he was pretty he was pretty all right at defensive end. Like I said, um, he he's he's a pretty stout, solid run stopper. Um, that if you plug in at left defensive end, he can do those types of things for you. But if you want him to be a decent pass rusher, put him at three tech, man. Put him at three tech. Uh, I wish they would have done that more for him in college. I think that's where his best bet is. And apparently I'm not the only one to think so because when he got to the senior bowl, that's exactly what they had him doing. They had him playing three tech and he whooped people's ass all the whole, whole time, practically. Um... He was just whooping on people at 3-tech. Just uh, line him up and B-gap and just let him go. Um, I do want him to keep his hand in the dirt no matter what. Because I know Miami does uh, multiple style scheme things. Where, you know, we'll do some things that kind of look like a 3-4. It kind of look like a 4-3. Uh, we kind of move things around. Sometimes we'll do 4-3 things. Sometimes we'll do 2-gap things. So, um, I do want him to keep his hand in the dirt at all times. So keep that in mind. I don't want to see him playing linebacker. He's he doesn't have the athleticism to do that. He ran a four eight nine in the forty, which isn't bad for what we want him to do. Um, just kind of line him up in B gap and let him smoke a guard and get past him. That's kind of what I want to see him do. Uh, as far as how much play time he's gonna get, I don't know. I think that's gonna be probably pretty limited. Um, you know, we we just got Raquan Davis and. You know, we had Chris, we drafted Christian Wilkins last year, and he's fantastic. So I don't know how much how much play time he's going to get. Not to mention, we also drafted Curtis Weaver, who's also going to need to keep his hand in the dirt. So I don't know how much how much play time he's going to get right away. Hopefully, he can kind of show some things on special teams and just kind of develop slowly behind those guys. Because unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but unfortunately for him, our guys are young. It's not like he's learning under a veteran or anything like that. So, yeah, is what it is there. But, um, yeah, a big fan of Jason Strobridge, though. Like, I, I really like this pick a lot. Um, rotationally, I think we can really plug him in and let him do run-stop things. I think putting him in with Raekwon Davis, if you really want to stop the run, I think that's a good look for you. I really do. So, um, yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.